So what's your name? My full name is Maximilian Super Greenwald, and I'm 13. What's your middle name? Super. What do you want to do when you grow up? I'd like to be a writer. I'd like to uh, maybe do SNL, you know, write my own sketches and then perform them. And what do you like most about yourself? Huh. I don't know, my sense of humor, I guess. What is your greatest fear? Finding out I made the wrong career choice somewhere along the line or something like that. Do you normally get straight A's? Yeah. I have a 4.0. I've kept that all the time. I hope to be announced at the Honor Society thing at the end. What do you need to work on? I think I have stress. I have trouble like accepting things that I can't change. Recently, I just got a, a you know, an A minus, but it was on a, a project I'd worked really hard on, and it was, you know, made me really sad that I got that grade. It was a frustration cry. So you're the smart kid. I, I used to be the silent one too that nobody liked. Used to, yeah, I kind of came out of my shell in sixth grade or something like that. Yeah. Your worst habit. Self-doubting myself, like thinking, wait, was I right there and stuff like that. Like, may self-esteem too. Definitely, I like to be better physically. I have a weight problem. I don't like that. And your worldview? My family is very on my father's side mostly, which I take her after more. Are very atheist. We have a history of atheism and stuff like that. So, I wish it wasn't just darkness after you die, but that's what it seems like it is. What school are you at now? Liberty High School. What do you like most about yourself? I'm pretty much nice to people. Standard question, what do you want to do when you grow up? I'm thinking about trying to be a doctor. I wanted to kind of go into like show business or be a comedian stuff, but the problem with that is there's a lot of chance involved. And so didn't really want to do that. Doctor is a clear cut what you got to do to do it. So the pressure to succeed academically, where does that come from? 100% internally. My parents encouraged me to just let it go. Do you have a girlfriend? Nope. Anybody you have your eye on? Sure. What are your insecurities? Uh, appearance, um, well, the general stuff, how others think of me. Three wishes. I'd like to live forever. Oh, I worry about death a lot. Do you? Yep. I'm atheist, so it's kind of like all you get. So I, that makes me sad. I don't want to die. Is there such thing as pure truth? Yes. We're all on a giant rock in space and no one knows why. So why would you live with a perspective that brings you fear? Because I'd rather live with the truth and feel like I'm lying to myself. Martin Luther King did say that faith is the ability to take a step without seeing the staircase. That's a nice quote. That's the exact why I would rather be a doctor than try to do something. I would probably rather be a comedian or something like that, but again, there's the chance and I don't want. If there isn't a step there, then I fall. Ooh. What's your grade point? 4.0 right now. I was super stressed out, right? And uh, I woke up one night and I was crying. Probably behind all stress is fear. Sure. So what is the fear? Failure, I guess. You know, now I've got to think of going out on my own, that I'll end up looking at my life and saying it wasn't worth living. What would be one of your three wishes? Uh, I'd like to live forever, probably. I'd like to be remembered after I die is one of my biggest goals. If you are dead, you know, at least that's one way you can live on. What's your name? Uh, Max Greenwald. And how old are you? Uh, 16. And what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, doctor. It's, it's a longer path, of course, and it's more difficult, but it's pretty set in stone. If I could get somewhere else, I'd probably like it more. Like, I think being an author or a screenwriter would be my ideal you know, place, like maybe writing on SNL, I would really enjoy, but, you know, I'm not the kind of person that would want those risks and just that, that kind of uh, cloudy future. I don't like that idea. It does come down to risk and safety. 
You had a rough time this last year at one point. I, you know, looking back on it, I always think, okay, clearly I must have had some sort of hormonal imbalance for a while that I couldn't get over whatever I was thinking about. Would you rather be the smartest depressed person or the dumbest happy person? And I was one of the only people that said the dumbest happy people, because what's the point of being smart if you're not happy? So do you know the number of people that live their whole lives and never even ask that question? A bunch of happy people. So you had a change in your perspective? It is perspective. But changing that's painful. So, what's the plan for next year? I'm going to commit to Middlebury College uh, in the next following days and then uh, go there with a pre-med path, but get a feel for it and see what where that takes me. It's been a good year. I think I've grown uh, a lot. Maybe a little less risk averse, right? More willing to take risks. Maybe I'm more, I, I think I was afraid of rejection and people not liking me before, and I've definitely kind of gotten rid of that. Now I'm confident enough to go out and say something as soon as I, yeah. you know, like someone. Fourth grade was, for a lot of it, I'd sit by myself completely, like at recess, I'd pretend I was interested in something so no one came over and like pity talked to me. I'd like sit at the, in the, against a wall on the playground and I would like take like pebbles and I'd be like, oh, I'm looking at this, I'm writing with the pebble, I'm doing something so no one came over. Just about all sophomore year I was fully depressed with no happy moments, right? Like, I feel like I could have been diagnosed. But I started uh, becoming more social towards the end of sophomore year and then throughout junior year. And I still, I probably worked harder overall junior year, but just not with the same efficiency and drive that I had sophomore year, where I was still having plenty of time for friends and stuff like that. Because I was like, I've been depressed for too long. And then I probably had that epiphany sometime junior year. And then by senior year, it was very, uh, it was almost, I had some bad study habits, but I still did fine this year. I think it was actually my best year academically. What grade point did you graduate with? I was 4.0 still. So you were even more successful after you relaxed? Could have been, yeah, maybe you're a more efficient worker when you're happy and you've got the endorphins flowing. So to find success, successful in life is leading a life you find satisfying. Before there's a big idea that making yourself great was what mattered, but really being happy is what mattered. If being like a California surf bum makes you happy, then you and, and you get accepted to Harvard, you should toss the applic the uh, acceptance letter in the trash and become a surf bum. Right, and if, my, if I had a kid like that, that's what I'd encourage him to do. I'd say maybe I have a lot more um, value in life invested in like the people you meet and the people you care about and whether or not you're happy with life than success and uh, intellectual conquest or whatever, you know. I think before there's a big idea that making yourself great was what mattered, but really, being happy is what matters. I think it comes from knowing who you are. And Do you have any advice for any shy kids out there? Oh, man. For shy kids? And that's something I haven't conquered myself, being shy. And the best thing is, uh, I, mean, I guess you do have to sometimes close your eyes and uh, put yourself out there. So you still struggle with that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Not to the extent I did. I don't, I'm not going to be sitting at the Middlebury quad and sit on the side and play with a rock and hope no one talks to me.